It's a rainy day, but we're going on a tour, on a hike, I should say. Now remember, you see is... a red and yellow striped snake, don't touch it. Because if you do and it bites you, you need medical attention like yesterday. But why would we touch any snake? So if I if I see a red and blue snake, I can touch it? Yes, if you see a red and blue snake, you can touch it. Those don't exist. The brighter the color, the worse they are, apparently. No. Oh, no. What do you say? Old lava? Old lava. What is it? I think it's a coffee bean. A ripe one, too. Are you going to eat it? No. Mm, maybe not. It is not a coffee bean. What is it? Mm -hmm. We got blue sky. Woot woot! Maybe we'll be able to see something by the time we get up here. Ashley had just said that... I wish I knew what the sounds were of the animals so we could kind of understand or identify and I... That's how you find them, is you know what sound they make, and then you can start looking for them. Right, so, Race Higgins, if you're listening to this, we wish you were here, because Race is my PhD friend that is a natural-born naturalist. He knows everything there is to know about plants, and probably animals, too. Just ask him about chicken breeding. Hello, we made it to Pylon. Pylon? This is a giant yeah, tree that's how old? 600 years. 600 years old. It'd be really cool to have a tree house on top of that thing. Kind of like on Avatar. Wow. This is really cool. It's just huge. Just an epic view. And we just saw some monkeys. Or a monkey two family, monkeys. family two. of monkeys just over here. Now we're looking off this vantage point. I'll spin you around. What an awesome vantage point. It doesn't feel like, like, it sounds like it, but it doesn't feel like it's pouring. Oh. Notches? I see. Is this a lava flow or a river? And that thus concludes our tour. We hiked like what they claim was three kilometers, but I think it took us at least three hours. Mind you, we stopped a little bit, but yeah, it was nice, scenic. Didn't find as much wildlife as we were hoping to, maybe because I'm so loud, but I would recommend it. There's a lot of cool hot springs around here, but most of them, there's hotels built on the hot springs, and then you have to pay to go to the hotel and swim in the hot springs and that sort of thing. It's not very, it's not as much a natural experience because it's all built up. But you can also just come down to the river and experience them yourself. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, it's not deep. Oh, that's weird. You gotta go through the tunnel. Wow. Oh. Someone smarter than me. Serves us right for not breathing or bringing our swimsuit today. This wasn't in our original itinerary. What do you think? We need to come back with a beard. Yeah. 
and a bathing suit.